G'day YouTube, this is an unboxing, assembly and review of this $169 lawnmower we just got from Aldi. And they get the lawnmower out and then daddy has to put the lawnmower together. Let's open this box. Let's do it. Alright guys, what have we got here? We've got our instructions. We've got our grass catcher that we have to put together somehow. Maybe I should look at the instructions? I don't know. What do you think? Should we look at the instructions? Okay, we don't need that. Is this this? We don't need that. Okay, the next bit is... We put the grass catcher together Can now. I... Locate the top half and the bottom half. It's yeah. like the upper and lower. Yeah. Aldi and Garden Line. Aldi. Putting your grass catcher together absolutely stinks. Next up, we need to put some oil in and some unleaded fuel. Cut down, cut down. Okay, this is a moment of truth. Moment of truth. I'm gonna try and start it for the first time. Obviously works. Sounds pretty good too, not too noisy. I'm gonna give it a little shot, just mowing this little bit here, maybe a little bit at the front, see how it goes. All right, just mowing this little bit. I'm gonna try this grass patcher now. It's got a fair bit of grass in it, it's quite heavy. See what these hooks are like again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. First thing, that grass catcher is terrible. Putting it together is a nightmare. Uh, putting it off and on, the lawnmower, yeah, you can do it. The clips aren't great, um, but you can do it. It's not. It's not like one of the big proper ones, it's, it's fiddly. Putting it together was an absolute pain. Those little clips, I just think if it ever falls apart, I got that nightmare ahead of me again. But anyway, I can live with that. It feels really good when you mow. It feels light, uh, it's not too noisy. It says Briggs and Stratton engine. It's apparently what the good ones have. That seems fine. Uh, this grass catcher is 60 litres which feels about the same size as my last one, so that's probably standard. Uh, the positioning thing to change the height of the mower, this works really well. That's a big, big handle, you can change it really easy. I had other ones with this little fiddly thing. That's really good, love that. Uh, so it's 19 inch width, that's pretty big, because this was so cheap, this was $169. The um, the other kind of cheapish ones had like a 16 inch, 
So that's good. So, so overall, Aldi, I'd give this four and a half out of five stars. Obviously I'm not talking about reliability because I've only used it for 15 minutes or so, but it feels solid and it's a three year warranty. So that's it there, it's a garden line one. I'm guessing they sell them not just in Australia, but all over the world. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong. This thing was a steal. I love it. So this new red one here is our fourth lawnmower in about four or five years. Kept on buying these cheap secondhand ones, like this one here, that would work for a while and then die. And Siobhan's like, hey, you're always buying lawnmowers. And I'm like, I don't want to buy lawnmowers. I'd rather buy something cool, like a skateboard. I bought this from the strangest man I've ever met, and it literally exploded the last time I used it. It got louder and louder and louder, and then went bang. And this piece here exploded out of the engine, and this flew off. So I think she's pretty much dead. Thanks for watching. There's something cool coming up in the next few days. See you then.